Thank you. Mr. Winstrup is recognized. Yeah, well, I would say um, one thing to go along with Mr. Kelly said is um, I have run a payroll and I've also taken care of people and I've taken care of people with HSAs. So that may be one advantage. You know, we're sitting here talking about payroll tax pays for Medicare, Social Security. Indeed, it does. Indeed, it does. So what you're talking about is working people. Working people get a, on a payroll, pay into the tax, pay, pay into the government for Medicare, Social Security, and other things. And that's what you're talking about is the true cost that they don't pay as much into the government. You know, it reminds me of George Bailey with Mr. Potter. He's like, the real issue is what you can't get your grubby little hands on. But the bottom line is, you talk about true cost, that's not the true cost. That's not the true cost, because you're not looking at the true benefit. It's extremely short-sighted in every way. Because here's the cost. Okay, so if people are making 500000 to a million dollars that have an HSA, those people are working for that. And there's a payroll tax taken out of that. And the last thing you want is for them to be sick and not working. Mr. Bartold, do we have any estimate of all those people that have HSAs? If they no longer had an HSA, and they become sick and quit working, what's the cost there to those who want to keep their grubby little hands off of people's, people's income? Um, Mr. Winstrup, I, I don't have an estimate. But uh, you understand where I'm going. I know you don't, but maybe we should look into that and consider it. HSAs, I can tell you, you know, so many people budget with their health care. That usually means they don't go get it. This is an opportunity for people to budget with their health care and to be able to go and get health care because they have a high deductible plan. It allows them to save for that rainy day. It allows them to be prepared for the unexpected or maybe even the expected because we all get older, we all develop illnesses and problems sooner or later. You take these people off a of payroll because they're not well and the cost is way more than what you're saying is the cost because a small portion of their check isn't, isn't taxed. Use your heads. We need a healthy nation to have a healthy workforce, to have a healthy payroll tax system that can fund the programs Medicare, Social Security. Follow it all the way through. Don't be so short-sighted that the only thing you're seeing is, oh, that means we get a little bit less money to the government. Well, maybe quit spending so much. It all goes full circle. The value of the healthy human life is not estimated in here. And HSAs arguably, very arguably, help keep people healthy and working. And there's a whole lot more tax they pay than just the small amount they take out for their HSA. Look at the big picture. Use your heads. There are smart people on this committee. Use your heads and do the right thing and think this all the way through. Thank you for answering my question. I, it, it would be a number, Mr. Broadhold, would be nice to have because you take away the HS, HSA and take away those workers, see how much revenue is lost then. I yield back.